Do your kids know that you have an OnlyFans page? Yeah, they do. So originally when it first happened, um, so I taught fifth graders and my kids were going into fifth grade. And so I had to tell them like that I got fired and that they weren't going to be able to have mommy as their field trip teacher because I had been working with their principal to bring my kids there. So originally when it first came out, I told them I was an Instagram model and, you know, that that just sort of quelled their questions, which was fine. But then, of course, because this became such a big deal in our lives, they they did find out that I'm an OnlyFans model. Um, and, you know, that's something that I do try as a mom to really separate the two lives. You know, when my kids are with me, I have, you know, 50-50 custody. So it's like when my kids are with me, I am mom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, when they're not with me, that's when I'm on OnlyFans and making content and having fun and exploring things. And there for me is like a very definitive separation between the two. But it is interesting because I live in a very small town in Indiana. I imagine pretty much everybody knows, probably everyone at their school knows. So I do try to be like very sensitive to it. But I also show my kids like, I am not walking around with my head down ashamed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to walk into the school and I'm going to have my head up. And, um, you know, because I don't, I don't want them to ever think that, if they ever get bullied the same way that I did, that they have to just hide away and um, be be ashamed or be fearful or be afraid. It's like, no, we're, we're walking out, our heads are up, and your mom gets to be on podcasts and I get to be a voice right now mm-hmm. for, for myself and other women, and it's beautiful. You know? Yeah. How how did your ex-husband react? Have you had issues with him around it? Um, you know, he wasn't paying me child support. So I guess from my stance, it was sort of like, listen, I told you a year ago I needed child support. You put me off. You didn't do anything. So at this point, I'm like, as a single mom, I'm going to do what I need to do yeah. to provide for my kids. So it yeah. was like, you also sat here and watched me for five years struggle as a single mom. Yeah. So I, again, I feel like I don't owe him anything because as the mother of your children, you weren't helping me yeah. uh, support me and helping me provide. And you know, I was on a teacher salary. Yeah. So um, he really hasn't said too much but what he has said has been supportive. So oh, I do good. appreciate that. I yeah. mean, I asked that question because, you know, I I can't tell you how many times I've had models reach out to me who I've shot and asked me to take their content down because they're in a custody battle oh. with their ex. Yeah. And he's using the As collateral. Yeah, the porn content that they shot, like even before the kids were ever born to prove that like she's an unfit mother and like that just breaks my heart. Yeah, it really does. And it really goes back to that double standard between Mm -hmm. men and women and also the ways that people will um, try to use anything to discredit a woman, to shame her, Mm -hmm. to shame her sexuality, to shame her body. And it's so interesting, especially for men who created the field of sex work. And they're the consumers of it. Um, And so where these lines get drawn in people's head as when it's okay, when it's not, when I'm going to use it against this woman for my benefit, um, those really are the initiatives that I want to stand up for, especially like revenge porn or using it in these defamatory ways because um, what a person does or their, their sexuality or their sex work is not indicative of their morality or their ability to parent or their ability to be a teacher. Like those are two separate things, you know? Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. 
At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q and A's, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.